Hello everyone. Today we are going to learn how to enlarge shapes using fractional scale factor. Again, using both methods. One method is by measuring the distance from the a corner of each shape to the center of enlargement. And the other one is by using column vectors. Okay, so the first one is going to be the measuring the distance, which as I said in my previous videos, it has to be very accurate. You have to use rulers, otherwise the landing of the new corners, the new uh, uh, yeah, corners of the sh new shape are not going to be exactly where they must be. So that is the, the downside of, of using this method. But the other method, the column vector method is very accurate, very accurate, but you have to learn again, and you have to remember how to, um, do the vector, remember the signs, um, going to the left, going up, down, and right. Okay, so here we have this triangle, triangle ABC. It says enlarge it with a scale factor one half from the center of enlargement minus five, minus, minus seven, minus five. So minus seven, now this is minus seven, minus five. So this one here, I'm gonna call it a P again the center of enlargement, right? Now, to use the first method, so you need to join each corner of triangle ABC, join them, join with the center of enlargement, D, enlargement P with straight lines, okay? Just like that, can you see? The center of enlargement, although it's fractional, it's a fraction, it's positive, so the arrows, are going to go so the we, we will expect the shape uh, the new shape to be on the right hand side of the center of enlargement so there you go and this is another arrow and this is so the, there's two lines coming out from oh, from p here from p to b and to n and to a if you if you notice okay and now we measure uh, we measure p p this is meant to be a P, all of these are meant to be a P, otherwise we will mix it up with the center O, so P, there you go. Okay, so P, C prime equals half of B, C. So let's have a look, P, C, there you go. So P, C, this is the distance of P, C. So the P, C dash, I should call it, P, C dash, is, 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 it has to be half because we multiply the whole distance, P, C, Multiply by half, always you multiply this distance, distance by the scale factor. And this is where the new one is going to land, okay? If we measure the ruler, the distance one by one. And you continue to do exactly the same thing with all the distances. So if PB, for example, measure how long PB is in your book and then halve it. And you're gonna see that the, the new B dash is going to land uh, roughly here b dash and then do exactly the same thing with a half it and then you are going to see that the new a dash is going to be right there you see and you join those points with straight lines and this is what you're going to have right this is the a dash a dash c dash and b dash a or a a dash, B dash, and C dash. Can you see? So the new shape, we we'll call it enlargement, but it is smaller than the, the previous shape, than the first shape. The image is smaller, but it doesn't matter because the scale factor is fractional. So obviously the new shape is going to be smaller and is on the right hand side of the center of enlargement. Okay, now when you use the column vector method, let's have a look how we are going to do this, we are going to apply this method using the column vector. So as, as I said previously, we use the column vector for each corner of the shape uh, to get from the center of enlargement to this one. And then we multiply that column vector by the scale factor, in this case is one half, to find uh, the column vector uh, to get from the center of enlargement to B dash, a dash and C dash. Right, let's begin with the column vector for corner B for this point here. 
So B is going to be the column vector to go from the center of enlargement P to B is going to be, so one, two, three, four to the right, four to the right, which means for positive, okay? And then how many up? So one, two, three, four up, again, so four, four. So this is the kind of vector that describes the position of B from P. Now, to describe the position of B dash from P, how do we do that one? We multiply this vector by a half, okay? to get to b dash. So b dash now is going to be four divided by, sorry, multiplied by a half is going to be two, and four multiplied by a half oh, is going to be two. So two, two. So b dash, the position of b dash is going to be two, two. No? The position from the scale, the, the center of enlargement. So let's count together where that is going to be. So it's two to the right, so one, two, and then two up. One, two is going to be right there. B dash. Now let's have a look at C. Right, to get to C from P, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, sixteen. And of course it's sixteen, so it's from minus minus six. So actually it should be fifteen from minus six to nine. So it's going to be no, it's from minus seven, so 16, 16 to the right. So we have C, C 16 to the right, and how many up? Uh, it is going to be, this is minus one, so it's going to be um, four up, isn't it? So it's right here, we're right there. So one, two, three, four, four up. So again, positive four, and now, we multiply by a half to get to C dash, and then C dash is going to look like this, the vector, okay? So 16 uh, times a half is eight, and four times a half is two, so eight, two. So again, from the center of enlargement P, we move eight to the right and two up. Eight to the right is going to be right there, okay? And then two up, then it's going to be right here. This is the position of C, dash. We do exactly the same thing with point A. Okay, the vector that describes the position of A from the center of enlargement P, it is going to be, it's going to be, so this is some uh, five, five down and up, seven, so twelve up. Okay, so it's going to be seven plus, and point A is five, so twelve, twelve to the right, okay, twelve to the right, Let's do it before we forget. So 12 to the right. And from here, I'm going to go up. So this is minus 5 plus, and then 12 up, and 12 up. 12 to the right, 12 up. And then again, multiply this by a half to find the A dash. So A dash becomes 6, 6. Okay, so 6 to the right, 6 up from the center of enlargement. Six to the right, six up. And so it is going to be six, so it's going to be right there, and then six up. And then going to be right here, if I'm correct. So six to the right, one, two, three, four, five, six, uh -huh. and then six up. One, two, three, four, five, six, exactly. So it's right here. A dash. There you go. We found the position. This, this method is very, very accurate, actually accurate compared to the other one. We have to remember the vectors uh, using the accurate use of the vectors. And now we need to use a ruler. You need to use a ruler to join the points, the new points, the new corners of the our enlarged shape with, uh, join them with a straight line, join them with a ruler, please, and a pencil. In case you make a mistake, you can rub it out. So ruler and pencil. There you go. And this, very sorry for my lines, I'm not very straight, but yeah, there you go. So this is our new, our new shape, in large shape, A dash, B dash, C dash, using the column vector method and fractional scale factor. Thank you very much for watching my steps. Have a lovely day. Bye-bye.